and then we take galvanized the wire and then we load it through the edge. Okay, now closing is over. Uh, you know that in a road construction, uh, the big enemy of the road, it is always water. So it is reason why when water uh, enters in the soil, especially on the slopes, so here the slope will be uh, heavy or heavier and then it may fall down over our road. Uh, but with this structure, uh, this one, it will increase the stability of the slopes, or yes, of the slopes. Uh, and then it is friendly to water. So it means when water will come, we will enter through the stones and then it will leave. And then it will access the uh, road drainage system. So it is reason why if we are having structures like these ones, uh, they will, there will be no longer problems of collapse of, uh, of the slopes. So uh, the remaining it is to do the backfilling uh, and then it is to put gravels, it means the, the, the aggregates, uh, so that they will act as filters. So it means uh, here, because we are dealing with soil, soil also may infiltrate into our soil and then block the movement of water or of drainage. So it is reason why uh, we need to put uh, some gravels uh, to, uh, in order to decrease the void uh, between stones. So let us, uh, let us put uh, gravels. Okay, we are going to backfill our gabion. Uh, we'll backfill it until to full. So here you may even use compacting equipment. No problem.
if you wish you may even install a geotextiles after you made a sub grade may put geotextiles so it come here on the top and then before putting the backfill uh, you turn it back overlap the um, the gabion until on this level and then you put this soil and you compact According of the, uh, to the height, you can even uh, put another uh, another gabion. Can put it uh, from the half going uh, going downward, uh, going backward. Sorry, going backward, uh, and then you may put it, and then they may, they may come as stairs, or they may become steep. So this is. Uh, how we build a gabion retaining a wall. Uh, we may put water so as to see uh, how may filter water or how to see how when water will arrive on our our structure how it will act. Okay, on the soil, if water arrives, it will remain because it will be absorbed by uh, by soil. But here, on our stones, water will come and then we leave. So, you see water is started it start to leave, starting to leave. Which means that water will not create pressures on our retaining wall. And this is also drainage. Thank you. Uh, in our on, on our session, you have seen uh, how we may we may compact the earth. It means uh, it is the preparation of the work that you are going to do. Uh, we need to know the tools. The tools we saw the tools. So how to use them? We compacted the area. After compacting, uh, we unfolded we unfolded the gabion basket. After unfolding, we assembled. We assembled gabion baskets, and then after assembling, we started putting stones or filling stones. Uh, after filling sto stones, we saw how uh, we may brass, how we put the ties for bracing purpose, so that we not lose the shape. And then after we saw uh, how to fix the top, it means crossing of gabion baskets. Uh, after closing the basket, we saw how to do back filling on the uh, on the back of the retaining wall, and then uh, we have put water uh, in the other to check when water will arrive on our structure, how will it act? So thank you, uh, and uh, welcome in next session. Thank you very much. <laughs>